That doesn't matter. <laughs> Shake away. Yeah. <laughs> it, he's gonna go get, grab it, and I'll, I'll just show you, explain it. It's it's really easy. Um, this the high stands, you know, the the screen bottom boards. This one right here doesn't. I think it's got a solid uh, bottom board on it. But uh, when you have your high stands, make sure that when you put uh, your screen bottom board on, that um, just put that on all by yourself, and you can you should be able to look down and see uh, um, nothing. You know. 12, 14, 16 inches of um, airspace because you lose 9% of your uh, mites just through natural drop on your, uh, your screen bottom board. 14 inches? Um, whatever, you know, whatever you feel comfortable. You know, everybody's just a different use, height. So. Just use the screen bottom board. What's that? Just use the screen bottom board. He does? No, you're saying just use the screen bottom well, board. Well, uh, um, we use it, but I mean, a lot of people have older equipment and, they, and uh, you've got to use what you got, you know? Well, we have. Okay, but, but but anyway, what I'm just saying is like when you make your uh, high stand, make it so that you can get the, the full use out of your uh, screen bottom board, so you don't defeat the purpose of having it in the first place. So, uh, this thing was brand new yesterday, and it's all pretty pretty dirty right now. What I do is I, I take off these uh, pieces of uh, these wood first, and uh, and I save them. What I use them or is I use them in the hive after. If, if you ever come out to your, your hive during the, um, during the you know, spring, summer, or fall, and it's getting robbed, it's nice to be able to have one of these as an emergency. Just to, you know, if you don't have an um, entrance reducer out there, just to um, close up the entrance a little bit, and it, believe it or not, it can be a lifesaver. Something simple as that. And uh, I'm going to loosen this before I um, slam them down. And uh, I'm not going to take it off though. First you remove the queen cage, I, I can't see inside, but I can already tell there's a bunch of uh, um, fur comb in the bottom. And what I'm going to do, set this down so it's out of the way. It's nice to have a big open in the dump end. <coughs> Before you even worry about taking out the, um, the can of syrup, you want to um, inspect the, the queen, make sure that she's uh, nice and healthy. She should have a dot on her, and I see her moving around on her own. What color is that? Uh, green. And uh, sometimes you'll open up the uh, queen pack package, uh, you'll take the, uh, this disc off and you'll see the, um, the, the candy inside has already been chewed out. Um, so you've got to be careful when you take the, the disc off to have your hand ready to cover it up in case you see that she's, um, it's been already been chewed through. Um, yeah, but the, the good thing about these, they just made these the other day. If you, when you take it, uh, look at your own, you'll see how big that candy is. I mean, they haven't even hardly touched it yet. So there's a pretty good chance she's going to be in there for um, not three days, but four or five. Okay, so they, but if they chew through the whole thing, it's just going to get out right away, right? Uh, yeah, but, um, you know, we know when these things were, uh, were shook into the packages. So, um, they, they, ha they haven't even hardly touched them yet. But anyway, this is what everybody does this this part differently. But um, always have the queen, uh, the the hole where the candy is up, in case you um, 
the attendant dies. Uh, we actually we had one, uh, we did 16 installs yesterday. And one of the queens was uh, dead because uh, um, she died crossways, and we don't know if the, the attendants died and, and and put her in a precarious position, or if uh, um, or she died and and that's what killed the the attendants. But anyway, this is how I do it. Um, I I just put it between the some hives. With, uh, I'm not going to use a, an elastic because we've got drawn out comb here to work with. And you put it down below the the, um, the wooden part of the frame. So and what I do is I just put it in here and I crunch it between a couple of them. And uh, that'll hold it in place as good as a, an elastic will. Except if you have brand new foundation. Yeah, so then, then if you've got brand new foundation, then you would use like an elastic or... Um, we, what we used to do is we used to put the, the disc on the other side and, we, and we'd flip the cage over and put the, um, the disc on the opposite side of the, as it was when it was packed in the package. But um, we've since found out that you know, if an attendant dies, it could go down and clog the hole and it'll prevent the, the queen from getting out. But anyway, um, I usually have a church key. And then what I do is when I think that, um, I'm just gonna explain what I'm doing so I'm not gonna actually do it. What I do is uh, this uh, sugar syrup has a uh, fumagellin um, B in it or whatever. We don't use that, but uh, I figure it comes with it. And uh, we take a church key and we uh, open that up. So when we're ready to put the, um, the high top feeder on, we can pull that in and then we add our own stuff with the uh, honey bee healthy in it. And, uh, you know, might as well use it, you know, instead of just throwing the stuff away. But, uh, because this is just a demonstration, I'm just going to uh, clean the, the bees off the, um, you know, the can of syrup, and I'm just going to set the syrup over there. And then uh, I don't know what we're going to do for a feeder, but we'll figure out something. And I save uh, that piece of luan that I just uh, put on the ground. Get your snip right there. Oh yeah. I save the, that luon and I put that on the um, the hive, um, the telescoping cover, and I use that for uh, to, to put the rock on top of, and it, and it, it prevents the, the the cold of the winter from being uh, transferred, and it keeps your uh, telescoping cover nice and shiny. What I try to do is I try to pour most of them in before I start getting violent, and that way of other you know, it's less traumatic for the bees. <laughs> that little bit right there. There's a few in there, but. Down. Yeah, okay. There's something in there. Um, I think a tool fell in there. I'm not sure. No, that's brick home. Oh, okay. Hey Bob. Yes. Uh, where's the bomb? Your uh, inner cover. Um, over there. Over there, Bob. Oh, there it is. Right there. And I need one more frame. Oh, and I'm not going to put a feeder on this, but I'm going to just to um, describe to you like what we would do. So the queen cage is over here, uh, between uh, number two and number three. And uh, normally what I would do, I would put the uh, a high top feeder on. Bob, do you want me to put a feeder on? Yeah, do you want, I mean, I'll take it off when I, when I get them later. I mean, there is honey in there's, there. There's honey in there. So yeah, I'm just, just going to describe to you what I would do. And that way it would be easier for Bob to 
transport later. Yeah, they got money. Yeah, so anyway, uh, um, for the first, if you're doing a soft install, um, for the first two and a half hours, three hours, um, I filled, I put some um, sugar syrup in the, the feeder. And uh, even though you're going to be taking it off in you know, two and a half, three hours, and I only put enough in there so uh, um, to, to keep them, you know, give them some food in the meantime. And then after I put it back on, then I fill it up um, enough to, for, the, for them to have uh, syrup for, you know, three to five days. And, and in this case, four or five days because there's so much uh, candy in, in that, uh, you know, candy cane in that uh, queen cage. But uh, does anybody have any questions yet? Um, I was just curious, you said you're going to come back in just a couple hours and then... Okay, uh, if you're doing a soft install and you're putting the whole package in, yeah. um, you would, uh, with the deeps, uh, they'll fit straight up and down. And yesterday, uh, what we did is, because we use all mediums, we had uh, three frames in, and then we would set it on um, the cage, uh, the whole package in. And then once it was in there, you know, I'd be holding the um, piece of Luan. I'd be holding that in place, and once I got it down there, I'd pull it out and then just close the hive up. And, can, you, uh, can you leave them for like a couple of days? No, only because uh, if you leave it in there, they'll fill, um, they'll fill that uh, okay. package with a burkle. Well, if I did the install, she said, oh, Amazon would do the install around 6 o'clock. Right. So that means come back like by 7 or 8. And yep. And, and the thing is, uh, when you go to take it out, there's, most of the bees are going to come out. The soft install is really good for like if it's inclement weather or sometimes when you get a package there'll be a lot of uh, dead bees on the bottom of it and uh, that's nice about it. You can take the thing out and uh, all those bees aren't, aren't going to be in there. All the dead bees. Yeah, all the dead bees, right. And uh, it, that, that's a really nice way to do it because uh, sometimes you'll get them and they'll, they'll be moldy or you know like if, um, is Jenny here? She was. Well, uh, she, she bought some uh, bees from uh, I think Rossman. Did she got them through the mail? And the, the, um, the jar of, uh, or the can of uh, sugar syrup spilled all over the place and it killed a bunch of her bees. Mm -hmm. and, and you don't want that stuff going into the hive. You know, they will clean it out, but why, you know, it's like I can go to your house and I can throw trash all over your front lawn. You will clean it up, but, you know, don't you have better things to do? It's the same thing with the bees, you know, it's like whatever you can do as a beekeeper to keep them, um, you know, give them less work, you know, it's, it's a good, good thing to do. So, any other questions? Oh, okay. uh, hey, here's Ben right here. Oh, awesome. Any other questions? Well, oh, um, Mary. Hi, Ben. Hey, thanks, Greg. That was really great. Okay. I, I, that was that was excellent.